Hey YouTube, I got myself a trailer finally. Um, since I got rid of my truck, now I have a Jeep. I had to get something to be able to haul other things around because the Jeep isn't really that great of a vehicle for hauling stuff, even with a trailer, but it's, it serves its purpose. It's a little 5x8. Um, it actually came with that grating, that meshing on the entire trailer. I added this wood. Now my dad helped me with it because he's more of a woodworking man than I am. But we got deck boards and bolted it down with carriage bolts. You see this one bolts way back here because this part of the tongue goes in under and you can't get to the bottom side of the meshing right there without taking that off. So we just moved that bolt back and did it that way. Um, this outer frame is actually screwed together. The wood screwed to the wood. Um, we put two bolts through the middle of it there. We did not put them out here, however, because of the way the trailer's made, there's a little gap it's up top, but there's not at the bottom. So rather than trying to bolt it there and split the wood and pulling it and everything, we just bolted it in the middle and left it at that. Of course, we bolted the middle sections down. We just went right down through the meshing used big, I don't know if I can get under here and show you, there you go, used big fender washers and lock washers. Um, and put the sides on it and stuff so I was able to haul. The main reason I put it on is to haul mulch and dirt and stuff like that, but this wire meshing is, it's cheap stuff. I mean, it's, it's not going to tear through or anything on you, but it's flimsy and flexible and I just didn't like it and to buy a trailer with the wood on it's several hundred dollars more and I've got maybe a hundred and forty dollars between the bolts and the wood and everything so so yeah I bought myself a trailer actually me and my girlfriend bought the trailer together for a Christmas present but because uh, she's the one that always wants to mulch and everything it actually came from Lowe's uh, it's got the little uh, what are they 12 inch wheels and tires I believe you know, it's nothing spectacular. It's a decent little trailer. Pull it down the road with no issues. Retorqued the wheels when I got home, and they, of course, were not tight. <laughs> I've read the reviews and read that that was a common issue, that the wheels aren't ever tight. Sometimes the lug nuts are missing, but they were at least all there, just not completely snugged up. Uh, one other thing we did with the wood is my dad did it, because he has the tools to do this stuff. I don't. Uh, he routed a groove here in this for the, they run the wires in these tubes inside the frame here. So to get this board to sit up flush against the side, he had to route that out. And left a little bit of extra room here to get wires in and out because I'm sure someday this thing will need some extra wiring because it's, I don't, I don't really care for the way they wire these from the factory. I saw uh somewhere here i think it's in behind here they have those little pinched together connectors i don't know why the hell people use those those things are ridiculous just solder them and shrink wrap them and be done with it but no they use those anyway yeah figured i'd show you my new five by eight trailer we got at lowe's um i won't be hauling much more than maybe a scoop of mulch a little bit of dirt here and there uh, my lawn tractor uh, I usually take that out to my dad's for winter storage because he's got a lot more room. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions on it, let me know. I'd be more than happy to tell you what I know about it. Um, I've got, I just picked up a six inch drop ball mount for it. It's, it actually makes it sit a little bit front high yet, but that's probably as close as I'm going to get it. I thought about flipping the axle, but the little tabs that have the centering hole for the leaf springs they're actually welded to the axle I really don't want to get into that because then first of all it's a fair amount of work second of all it's going to give me a steeper angle on the uh, loading ramp so I don't really want to do that it kind of defeats the purpose of a utility trailer but yeah if you have any questions let me know thumbs up and subscribe see ya